Hey guys, it's Mari. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a technique video here for you and a card making process. And I'm going to be using some of the deco foil toner sheets and some fancy foil from Gina K. So here's that really pretty bubblegum fancy foil. And I'm going to be using that for the color on my card today using one of these toner sheets as well. Now the toner sheet that I'm going to be using here has some florals on it and I don't have a laminator. So what I did was I took um, a, a rectangle die and I cut out a piece of this toner sheet and this is the perfect size for my card front so it kind of takes the guesswork out of sizing it and so I just took that die I ran that through my big shot on the on the toner sheet and then what I did was I put the the foil color side up onto the toner sheet that that's kind of like the rough side of the toner sheet I put some parchment paper over top of that and then I just used a very hot iron over top of the parchment paper and it heated up beautifully and transferred that foil so nicely onto that toner sheet. So now you can see there that it's all finished and I really, really love that. I apologize so much for the glare. Um, it's just my lights are wreaking havoc there with that toner paper. Now what I did was I took this Thinking of You die from Alta New and this is going to be the sentiment for the front of my card. What I'm going to do is run that through my Big Shot and I'm going to cut that from some white cardstock and some black cardstock to create the sentiment for the front of my card. Now what I wanted to do was create several different stacks on top of the other with this die just so that it's a little more dimensional on the front of the card. So I will cut it out twice with the white cardstock and once with the black and then I actually end up using a little bit of pink glitter paper over top of the black and you'll see that process here coming right up. Now what I want to do is I want to use a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of my card front here. So I, I've already adhered that toner sheet to a card front and this is going to be an A2 size card. So now that that toner sheet's on that white cardstock, I'm just going to take that foam tape, I'm going to remove the release paper off the back and I'm going to adhere that onto my A2 size card front. Now that I've got that all stuck on there nicely, I'm going to just give the card a quarter turn and I'm going to create a landscape uh, card just because that Thinking of You die is quite large and it fits on there a little bit better. So you'll see me turning that here in a bit. I'm going to take my Tombow Mono Adhesive and I'm going to adhere these three sentiments together in a stack. And I really love that Tombow Mono Adhesive because it does allow for a little bit of open time and it ensures that you can get those dies stacked perfectly on top of each other. So I'm going to just repeat that process again uh, using the, again, the Tombow Mono and I'm going to just put that black die on top. I'm going to offset it just slightly so that you can see a little bit of an outline of the white behind the black. And then as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, you know, I think I have some glitter cardstock that's pretty much the same color as the pink in that um, foil. And I decided I wanted to use that over the black. Now this is a little piece of vellum. I just ran that through my Big Shot with an embossing folder that's kind of a little Swiss dot and I'm going to add that as some detail to the front of my card as well. And here you can see that I've got that glitter paper here all cut out and I'm going to adhere that over top of the black cardstock for my Thinking of You sentiment. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that same process with my Tombow Mono and add that third die cut or I guess it's actually the fourth die cut over top of this stack of the three previous die cuts. So I'm going to have a really nice thick dimensional sentiment for the front of my card. So I'm just going to finish getting that all glued up here and I will stick those together and get that onto my card front. Just finishing that up. And I have a little bit of extra glue on there that I'm just going to dab up with my finger. You don't need very much of that Tombow Mono, that's for sure. So I'm just going to poke out the extra little pieces of the die with my Tim Holtz poker and I'm going to adhere that to my card front. 
Now I'm going to just take that little belly band that I created with that vellum and I'm going to put a little bit of dot runner there on the backs of it. I'm just going to fold that over and tuck it in. It's very, very simple, but I just love that little bit of extra interest that, that vellum adds to the card. So now that that's all finished, I'm ready to put my sentiment on the inside of my card. And what I did was I took the Alta New Thinking, or sorry, Alta New Sincere Greetings, and I just took my Versamark ink and added that to a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to take the scallop die and I'm going to just die cut that out. And then, and then I'm going to add that to the inside of my card. It just looks a little more finished in that way. And I like how that looks on the inside. Guys, that's my card for today. I highly recommend these deco foil toner sheets and the Gina K foil. They're gorgeous and it really makes a project come together quickly. And that's all done. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.